What's up everybody? How are you doing? My name is Johnny. This is our bus Miles of Smiles and Regan is not here today unfortunately, but we're still getting working. Uh, today is Wednesday, August 12th and it's paint prepping day, baby. Most recently, you've seen that we got our subfloors in our bus after doing our entire frame transformation that took us pretty much two to three months. Uh, so this was a huge step for us. You can go check out the video. It'll be up here in the corner. Subfloor is pretty much in. We're ready to tackle another big, big task, and that is exterior paint. Some of you guys may be kind of confused, like why are you doing paint this early? Or isn't it just gonna get scuffed up? You know, uh, you still got a huge amount of build to go. Why do the exterior this soon? So our main reason for that is we wanna try and seal up the exterior. So if you've seen our videos, you know we put a tarp over the whole bus every time we leave. And that is because A, we have this giant opening where our back doors are supposed to be and are no longer. The roof's not exactly totally sealed and some of our window patches aren't totally sealed. So I'm here to address that today so we can get things sealed up and prep before painting this weekend. So our main reason for wanting to paint is really just to try and seal the bus up to the point where we don't have to put a tarp on it. Obviously we're gonna still have to address this back door uh, and how we're gonna seal that off, but that's much easier than putting a tarp on every single time we leave the bus. So that's how the decision to paint kind of came about. But today, I'm not necessarily gonna talk about painting. I'm not gonna talk to you guys about that in depth because uh, that I'll probably do the day we're actually painting and we'll talk a little bit more about why we decided to do the paint we did, why this isn't just like paint and metal, um, and why we had to think about it a little bit more because we've gotten all fiberglass bus. So today I'm here to do some more fiberglass work, replace the window that we broke, oops, and maybe start taping some stuff off. I think I'll, I'm maybe a little bit ambitious doing all that uh, and saying all that right now, but I'm gonna try and get as much done as I can. If not, I'll come back another day. That way on Saturday we can just come here, everything will be taped off and we can just start sanding and then prime and then Sunday we can sand again and paint. So that is the hope. But I'm gonna get a few things together here and then we'll talk about what we're doing today. Okay guys, so first thing I'm gonna do here is address this seam that runs the whole length of the bus. Previous videos we've already gone ahead and secured most of the seam to the uh, where the floor supports meet the wall here and this is where two panels of fiberglass overlap onto each other. So. In a couple of these spots, it's just a little bit wavy, um, which we noticed as we were doing it. So I'm probably gonna just add a few more screws, help bring in some of those wavy bits. And I mean, guys, this isn't gonna look perfect. If we wanted this to look perfect, we'd be here for a while and uh, our bus build would take ages. So it's gonna look pretty good. Um, but basically I just wanna try and help get rid of some of those waves. And I'm gonna fill in the seam with a automotive seam sealer. One side down. I think I'm gonna hit this side quick with a Dynatron and then uh, hop over to the other side. Okay, so we got that seam sealed up with the seam sealer. That is good to go and ready for paint tomorrow. I mean, or paint this weekend. It'll get sanded a little bit more obviously, but it's at least sealed now and can be curing. So next thing to tackle is our window patches here. So a number of videos ago, which I'll put it here, uh, you can see how we created our window patches here. So we used existing fiberglass that we took out of the ceiling that were the ceiling panels and used them here. Well, obviously that created a seam here and then a seam here in between these two panels and then a seam at the top. So the seam at the top, hopefully I won't have to fiberglass that actually silicone in pretty well with just some sealing. But this seam here, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use some fiberglass. Probably gonna be using a combination of body filler and Bondo glass. In another one of our videos, <laughs> this is just a couple videos ago, 
you know we did uh, the side of our bus and used some body filler. So you can check that out if you want to use, learn how to use this body filler. I'm not going to explain it, I'm just going to do it. And this Bondo glass is pretty similar. This Bondo glass is mostly just used for larger holes and larger defects. So may not have to use it here on this bottom line, we'll see. I think I probably will on this middle line, there's a little bit bigger gap. And then uh, actually there's another little dent scratcher here in the side. I don't know who did that. Gotta fix that up too. So that's definitely gonna need some of the Bondo glass rather than the filler. So then there's also the patch on the other side. So gotta work that out. Got a lot of, of fiberglass work here coming. I'm gonna get fiberglass in a way here. If you wanna learn how to use fiberglass, go check out our other video. I don't need to explain it now. Bondo glass is pretty similar process as the body filler. So let's get going and fingers crossed this does what we need it to do. Things aren't going exactly the way we want it, but that's what happens when you build a schoolie and you're learning things. So these two window patches, you can see we did this seam here. We got one done, we'll sand it, sand the other guys. But then we're gonna deal with this window, which was bulging a little bit because this was too wide. So what I did is I made a relief cut up the middle uh, to help those two pieces lay, lay down flat with the foam board that's on the inside. And then what I was gonna do is fiberglass that seam. Well, we just tried to use the foam board adhesive and push the foam board. And um, obviously we're relying on that to help hold these flat because they, otherwise they kind of spring out or just don't lay flat. That foam board adhesive does not set up fast enough. So what we're basically gonna do is leave this for today, not do this one, come back obviously before we paint it this weekend, um, get some faster setting adhesive. So we, or something else so we can at least get that to lay flat so we can fiberglass it together um, and get the seams set. And hopefully we do that with the foam board installation, but that guy's gonna wait for now. We are still gonna, however, do this middle seam, isn't gonna move at all. And so we'll do gonna do that seam, probably touch up a few of these guys, and then go to the other side, go to the patch panel on the other side. So let's keep rolling. and that's gonna be it for today. Not terribly exciting, but didn't get as much done as I would have liked. I called that in the beginning of the video. Got this uh, one patch panel over here, bondoed. Got one of the ones on the other side bondoed. Other one's gonna wait for probably tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna come back, and then we're gonna replace our broken window tomorrow. Start taking off all of the reflectors and lights and things and then start taping. So that's where we're at. Uh, still a lot of more prep to do, but this is just the beginning of it. Not the craziest start to this vlog, but I promise you, you stay to the end and it's gonna be worth it because this is gonna be a good paint transformation and I'm super excited about it. This is just the reality of painting a bus and painting a fiberglass bus. Here we are, excited to be doing it. We're painting the bus. So I'll probably be back here tomorrow evening. I think it may be, uh, Maybe doing a late night tomorrow uh, here at the office. Try and get this prepared because I want to get this done this weekend. I'm determined. So we'll probably see you tomorrow. If not, we'll definitely see you Friday if I don't see you tomorrow. So we'll see you then. What's up you guys and good day. It is now Thursday. So I did come back today like I said I was going to. Uh, and it's back to prepping. So 
orbital sander already just took a crap on me. The pad actually came off, so I had to adhere a new pad on, which is fine, but then you have to let it sit. So Nick is actually coming shortly, and he's gonna bring another uh, orbital sander, which is nice because then we don't have to hand sand at all. But still got to address the dent slash scratch on the other side. So we'll repair that with some body filler and uh, Bondo glass. Then hopefully, maybe we even get to taping today. But we do have to repair the broken window yet, and we do have to uh, do the other patch panel that we weren't able to do yesterday. So lots to do. So let's just get going. Oh, and you'll notice all the paint is here. So I picked up the last of the paint today. Maybe you can see the color back there, but hopefully it's focused enough on my face that you can't. Even if you could see the color, you don't know how it's all gonna play out on the canvas. Got all the goods, so that's really exciting, but just wanted to make a note of that. Now it's time to work. A relief cut in this panel here you can see because it was a little too wide and so it was causing a bit of bubbling uh, especially down here so as you pu push it in be like, woo, woo, and then kind of pop back out you know exactly like that woo, woo, woo. you know what noise I'm talking about um, well, that, that was kind of it so what we're gonna do today is put a little piece of plywood behind here I just thought of this just before coming here um, just to help give it a little bit more rigidity and we're gonna use a fast set liquid nails So this will set up fast and hold this flat so we can fiberglass it in. So that's what we're gonna do And Nick's bringing a thing of fast set liquid nails and I'm gonna use one of the old Or one of the pieces from the underbody of the bus for that marine grade plywood and use that as that post in the center So it's gonna help give it a little bit of rigidity behind um, the patch panel more than just the foam board wood, which the foam board's obviously plenty. We don't need a lot of rigidity there. Um, but then we will still fill in the foam board around this piece of plywood. So it's not gonna take away a ton of insulation, but it will give us some strength uh, with that piece that we had to cut. So I'm gonna get cutting it here. Guys, we have been hard at work. Uh, probably quite a few time lapses there. Uh, but I've been working on doing some Bondo while Nick's continued to sand. He's been sanding all the little spots that we previously Bondoed. Uh, we never finished sanded them. We did a little bit, but never with the 220. So he went back over, finished sanded all of them um, to see if I was gonna need to go back and touch any of them up with Bondo. And actually, 
they really aren't very much that are gonna need touch up, which is awesome. So those are all done on one side. Uh, he sanded this big area that I filled in with Bondo. I gotta put a little bit more here, which you're gonna see here shortly. A little bit more filler. Our patch panels are pretty much done. Um, the adhesive on the one is still just, we've let it sit. Uh, we've taken it off to check a couple times. It's still just one part is uh, popping out still. So we're leaving that for now, if anything. We'll do that tomorrow while we're taping or something, or or uh, maybe even tonight, who knows. But we left that for now, and so, patch on this side. Nick got a little carried away with sand, and he was just in the groove, and ended up pretty much sanding this whole section here. I don't think he got down below, but this whole section uh, with 120 grit sandpaper, which is what we're gonna do before we put the primer on, and then after we put the primer on, which will be Saturday, then Sunday morning, uh, we'll sand it again with 220 uh, before we do our top coats. I'm going to go ahead and body filler this a little bit more here, then probably more sanding, maybe some taking out of some lights and some more taping, but I'm just going to keep working. We're on a roll. You guys don't need to hear me talk anymore. Just bondo, sanding, and taping. So here we go. What's up everybody? It is a new day. It is Friday and although I am wearing the same clothes, different hat at least, it is Friday. It is not still Thursday. And look, who's here? Regan's working on the bus today. As you can tell, Reg's hard at sanding. She's doing some of these spots in between the windows where uh, we'd use some automotive seam sealer on the windows and we just kind of got a little messy, anticipating that we were going to paint the window frames. Some of it's a little just chunky, and so we're trying to smooth out some of those chunks. And although we were planning to paint the window frames, we're not going to because that would be a lot of white. So that tells you that there's going to be white there, and if we would have painted the window frames white too, I think it would just be a lot. So the plan is to leave them black for now. Maybe down the road. We'll touch them up and repaint them all black. We'll see if that's worth it to us and see how this all looks after we're done. Good news. Our little uh, relief cut here that we had uh, jerry-rigged to adhere overnight is sealed up. So I'm gonna get bondoing this seam, this seam, uh, and a little bit more bondo work over here. Then we've got this guy to sand one more time, maybe do one more layer of bondo on it. Sanding and taping, sanding and taping, that's the name of the game today. So I'm gonna get rolling here and quit talking. So let's get to work. Okay guys, this guy sanded down. I may end up adding a little bit more Bondo here tomorrow. We'll see, it's got a little bit of wave to it, but like I told Regan, if we wanted this to be perfect, we wouldn't have bought a fiberglass bus uh, that's 20 years old because it's not gonna be perfect. It would take us so long if we wanted this bus to look perfect. And I knew from the beginning uh, that it wasn't gonna be 
but we're getting it pretty close. Uh, and I think it's for our standards and what we're going for here, which is basically a sealed painted bus, we're gonna be okay. So the battery light's flashing at me real quick. I'm gonna get a new battery, hang on. Okay, we're good now. So yeah, like I was saying, this fiberglass bus, the body's got waves and dents and things in it, especially now that we've put screws and whatever, and I hit something with the side and you know, all that stuff. But you guys maybe have been wondering this whole time, why are you guys needing so much Bondo? If you don't know much about what Bondo is or why we're we using so much of it, you don't really need it as much on a metal bus typically. Obviously metal panels, a little bit stronger, a little less sensitive to dings and dents and things and whatnot. So being that this is a fiberglass bus, uh, it just shows a little bit more, especially with what we're trying to do with the patch panels and things. We're just really trying to make these seams nice and hidden. Um, but not to say that you wouldn't use Bondo on a metal bus. Definitely people do and um, a lot of people have, but maybe just not as much as you would for a fiberglass bus. So that's maybe something to consider. If you're looking at shuttles or uh, school buses, or if you're looking at shuttles, some are fiberglass, some are um, metal. Maybe if you don't wanna do as much Bondo work, or it's also probably partially because we have a 20 year old bus here uh, that we had a little extra work and we put a bunch of holes in it and things. So I guess it's maybe kind of our fault, but maybe that's something to consider is you may have to do a little less bondoing with a metal schoolie, but we're not mad about it. Uh, we still love Miles. So uh, this was a seam here that looked like it had some sort of, it's got like this weather stripping all the way up and then there's a wider weather stripping that goes over it and we took that off and then down from, basically from here down, is just an open seam. So I just took some short hair bondo and closed that up because we are trying to eliminate leakage. That's the point here. So got that seam sealed up and now we're gonna tackle the broken window. So this is the window that we broke when we were sandblasting. I broke this while we were sandblasting. It's been sitting broken and we have a window to replace it with. We kept three of our windows that we took out and we're replacing it with an emergency exit window. We were going to take this out, replace it today before we painted, but then we realized that's kind of dumb. Uh, if we just take it out and leave it, we don't have to tape around another window. We don't have to worry about getting another window or paint on another window. So we're just gonna take it out, leave it until the paint is done, and then we'll put it in, which is perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and take this out, see how good our caulking and sealing job here is. We'll see how hard it is to take out. Reg was asking how hard it's gonna be. I said, probably harder than the ones that we took out because this is not 20 year old sealant. It's pretty fresh. So we'll see, let's go. That's it for today. More Bondo, some taping, some sanding, you know, all the stuff we did. Fun stuff. Uh, it's gonna be here stuff. just about 12 hours, 7.45 now. 8 a.m. start tomorrow morning. Say goodbye to the black people, because they ain't coming back. Big day tomorrow, big weekend, really. I mean, this has been a big extended weekend almost. We've Raise had... your hand if you think we should keep the pink. <laughs> yeah, those, those really good pink dots, they look great, and all the pink flops. Um, no, but we'll see you guys tomorrow for continuing this paint marathon, so. We'll give you a hint of the color. Okay, we're gonna give me a hint. Look, just look at us. Oh, yeah. See what we like. Oh, yeah. Just take a nice take look Take a nice here. candor at these colors. And, <laughs> What color scheme it may be. <laughs> Through the tape in the background. This only gives you so much of a hint though. This, this is still like kind of deceiving. Color scheme. Color scheme. So, <laughs> tomorrow the bus is gonna be all white because we're just doing primer. Still gonna make a huge difference. So, we will see you tomorrow. What is up party people? It is paint day. Yes, it is Saturday. 
primer day. Greg's right, it is primer day, but Miles is still changing colors today and that's exciting. So Nick's here, Regan's here. Regan's already hard at work. Nick's slacking, no, just kidding. We just got here, we haven't really started working yet. But uh, a little bit more sanding to do, some final taping, maybe a little final bondoing because why not? We haven't done enough bondo yet, so let's just do more bondo, I guess. Then we're gonna wipe the uh, whole thing down with mineral spirits after we go ahead and make sure everything's well sanded. And then it's time to prime, baby. Time to prime. So let's get working. Let's do it. Peeps, it is uh, Nick's going on up. Uh, we've been working away here. We've got everything almost completely prepped. Pretty close, finishing up, just finding the last little bondo bits and things like that. Making sure we got everything well sanded, everything's deglossed. Uh, but it's lunchtime, and then I think we're gonna come back, wipe the bus down, uh, maybe a little bit more sanding first. But then it will be time to primer. Nick's waiting for me to stop talking. So see you after lunch. All right guys, gonna give you a little spiel. We have wiped down the bus completely with mineral spirits. Uh, it is ready to go, it is ready to rock. It took us a couple times of wiping the bus. So what we did is you take mineral spirits or brushing thinner, I think is what they say you should use, uh, but we didn't get their specific brushing thinner, but mineral spirits, it all does the same thing. Cleans it up, gives you a nice surface to work with. So we did that and you wanna wipe all in the same direction, so you're gonna wipe uh, with a wet cloth and then with a dry cloth all in the same direction. We ended up having to do it two or three times on some of the panels just because they're so dirty and there's so much dust that gets kicked up by the fiberglass. So did that and now we're ready for old primer here. So figured I'd just quick run you down what we're using for paint and then don't have to explain it later. So we're using Interlux paint. The paint we're using is bright side polyurethane Interlux and the primer, they suggest to use it use with it, it's called pre-coat. Uh, so we're gonna do a coat of this pre-coat. We've got a gallon, hopefully this is enough. The method we're gonna be using is called rolling and tipping. So this is something a lot of boat uh, makers use. Uh, obviously, this is marine paint. This is not necessarily metal paint or fiberglass or auto paint. This is marine paint and the reason I chose marine paint is A, it's used on fiberglass boats a lot. We've got a fiberglass bus, fiberglass boats, it's really durable. So I figured why not? Uh, yes, it's more expensive than some of the other things, but this is gonna give us a really durable finish. I mean, if it's marine, it's also gonna be resistant to water. It's also UV, UV resistant, so we've got that going for us. But you can either spray it or you can roll it and tip it. So rolling and tipping, we're gonna have two people going ahead with the rollers and then two people going behind them and just slightly drag in brushes to get rid of any air bubbles help everything self-level and get us a nice smooth finish. Um, so if you just roll it, you're still gonna have air bubbles. And we're using foam rollers. We're not using anything with any sort of a nap because if you have anything with a nap, meaning like a sort of a thickness or kind of hairs, um, you're gonna get texture. So we don't want that obviously. So we're using foam rollers and then actually a guy at the Marine store when we were picking up paint suggested these foam tip brushes. So there are specific brushes for tipping um, they're just basically nice, really thin hair paint brushes. So we got a couple of those just in case these foam ones don't work because I didn't see anybody using these online, but the guy at the store insisted on them. So I trusted him, but not totally. Got it back up. So we're gonna try both of these methods. Rolling and tipping hopefully shouldn't be too bad. We'll tell you how it is, but we're gonna do a coat of primer today. It's gotta sit for 16 hours. Then we're gonna sand it tomorrow with 220 grit sandpaper and then another coat of paint. Uh, so this is a white primer. 
which is one of the colors of the bus, and then the other color, which, should we reveal the color right now? Should I tell the color? Should we wait? We'll wait. Regan says you gotta wait for the color, so you're waiting for the color. Can't see it, you can't see it. Paint's coming tomorrow. So we're gonna get priming. Everybody's taking a little beer break right now. Got a beer up, make sure we're extra focused for, uh, for painting. Hopefully with two people rolling and two people tipping, and you know, another helping out with some of the edges. Hopefully this sh shouldn't take too long. Um, and then once we prime, we're out of here. There's no more work to be done today. And we come back tomorrow. Let's get rolling. Side note, we just talked about this. We're not gonna be tipping today. Uh, we're just gonna be rolling the primer because we're gonna have to sand it anyways. So if there's bumps, imperfections, whatever, we'll sand it tomorrow. So today's just rolling. Rolling and tipping coming tomorrow. Let's get rolling. Check it out! <laughs> Check it out! We got a white bus instead of a black bus. Somebody came and dropped this bus off in here for us. It's looking good. Well, it's looking better, maybe. I said, <laughs> yeah, probably from the camera right now, bus looks good. But the reality is, it's one coat of primer in, and you know we're heading in the right direction but it still is just splotchy paint. So it's, while it's exciting, and it looks very white, probably on the camera, still not super great in person. But we're getting there, we're getting there. So the paint marathon continues. We got our coat of primer on now, so this has got to sit for like 16 hours. We'll come back tomorrow. We'll hit it really fast with 220 grit sandpaper, and then we'll put a top coat on, and then that'll have to sit as well because we're going to do two coats of top coat. Um, and unfortunately, it's got to cure a decent amount of time between coats. This isn't just like any old paint or spray paint or whatever where you can top coat it pretty quickly. Uh, the paint's got to kind of cure and harden to where that you can then sand it. Tomorrow, we'll be coming back. More sanding, more painting, rolling, and tipping. Uh, so tomorrow, we'll kind of show you this rolling and tipping technique I was talking about today. Hopefully it works out well. Again, we just rolled today, uh, hoping that tomorrow uh, it's gonna be pretty smooth and we're gonna sand it anyways. So if there's imperfections, we can sand them. But it is looking good. Our patch panels look really good. Not gonna show you guys yet. I'm gonna wait, make you wait for the finished product to show you some more close up of our body work and whatnot. But I'm pretty excited and feeling pretty good about the way things are coming out here. It may turn out that you know we've noticed some imperfections towards the end, but I'm really happy with We're it. We're all imperfect. We're all imperfect. Great point, Reagan. We're all imperfect. And like I said, this is a fiberglass bus. Our body work's not gonna be perfect. There's a lot of imperfections on this bus, but he's a lot better than he was. So we're gonna go home and relax tonight, uh, having ourselves, of course, a post 
post paint beer here. That's gonna be it. We'll see you guys tomorrow for a little bit of color on this guy. See you then. Oh, it's nice. It's gonna be nice, right? It's gonna be plenty dark. That looks really nice, actually. See? That's gonna be nice.